Hey, good morning from Central Community, or actually about a block away from Central Community. I had a feeling the line would be short this morning. I have no idea what the correlation is, but when we have a short line on the streets on Sunday nights with Jackets for Jesus, it tends to be a shorter line here on Wednesday morning with our food distribution, which it seems to be right now. It's about, I don't know, almost 740. We got started about five minutes ago. So the food is going out. People are just about completely on to our property, which is awesome. Always makes it easier. Thank you so much for your support of this food distribution these past four years. Next week is our fourth anniversary officially. And so, and next Wednesday is my final Wednesday of walking this line and saying good morning to people after four years of doing that. I've made a lot of friends on this line. If you would like to take my spot here, walking this line, greeting people, making friends, I want you to know you will meet some of the nicest people you will meet almost anywhere. Just walking along, greeting them, no judgment, no nothing, just saying good morning and loving folks. And that's my job here on Wednesday mornings and it's brief with each person. It's just some weeks, it'll be four or five minutes with one or the other. Most weeks, it's just kind of going through quickly. This guy running over the lawn here. Some people struggle with getting through a gate. There we go. <laughs> Struggled getting through a gate because she was reading something on her phone. Lord helps, I think if they would implant these devices on our hands, we would stand in line to have it done and pay people to do it. Absolutely crazy. Anyway, I'm no one to talk about that since I utilize mine regularly. Thank you for your support though. Anytime you would like to support what we do out here in the parking lot. We need a new parking lot for one thing. We can use you to do it. I'm good, how are you girl? I'm on my video begging for money right now. I'm telling people we need a new parking lot. <laughs> Next week is my last week here before retirement. I'll still live here, but I'm retiring. I'm 70 tomorrow, so 70 years old. So who's going to uh, replace you? Replace me? No one can replace me. <laughs> They're looking now. They've been looking for about four or five months. They'll find someone young, dynamic, and good-looking. That's what will help. Take care. Anyway, yeah, the parking lot's toast. So we're currently trying to, we've tried to find a grant for it. Tried to find all that kind of stuff. It was great. Someone called the other day and said, your sprinklers have been going for 24 hours in one section. Our well had been down for a week, spent $3,000 to get the well, new pump in the well, and the line's going again, so it's our water. I mean, you know, we own the well, we own the water, and the water rights, so. Bill, who takes care of our yards, has been running each section as long as possible to get everything going, and people are complaining, saying we're wasting water. And what do you say? It's our water, we'll waste it if we want. It all goes right back down into the ground, and back into our well and so that's good here's marty and anna they're taking names down i think marty's going oh marty i know i set some aside here are the cookies oh there i think she put them right there oh man yeah my breakfast mm -mm -mm. cookies and brownies i'll probably lose weight when i retire not being around liz who makes these cookies each week anytime you have something wonderful that you would like to donate whether you're here for counseling, whether there's something else, you can be a part. Just let us know and you will bless the entire community. 
in so many ways. Stan and Dre working as a team, that's a dangerous thing. <laughs> Stan, you keep this guy in line. Look at this, we've got honeydew melons today. Organic honeydew melons. We've got hand sanitizer. We have got all the baskets that our Tuesday team packed yesterday. That's awesome. Basket, and they're moving the grapefruit into there. We've got grapefruit. I got a long lecture on the correct way to say, not tarangas, but tarangas today. And so I get more grammar corrections on my Spanish. So that's happening. Food's going out everywhere. I'm not gonna cross until I know these folks are stopping. I got no desire to get run over. Swan, these are nice people. Be nice to them. <laughs> and there's all the baskets still waiting to be moved in line. Hundreds and hundreds of them. Here's Judy over here at the walk-up line. Way to go, Judy! Thank you. Judy got me golf balls for my birthday. Thank you, Judy. I'll use those in retirement. Well, I, use, I heard you. I guess I was eavesdropping because I, when I walked by, I heard you tell one of the gals, I'm just playing golf. And I said, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Good memory. I just may do that. And look at that. There's a walk-up setup. So when people walk up to the table over there, here's everything in the bags. I don't know how people walk home with these. I think they must weigh 40 pounds or something like, ooh, too heavy for me. <laughs> wow, so there's a lot of good food in there. We've had pallets of brown sugar to give away. This forklift, the last three years, what a gift it's been. Thank you. The truck, yesterday we loaded it with over 12,000 pounds of food. Picked it up. What a challenge, pallets, the church of the pallet at Central Community. Thank you. Remember 14JC.com, number one, number four, letter J, letter C.com. Your gift from $10 to $10 million will be a great blessing, be put to good work. We will use it. We don't take any of it for administrative fees or anything like that. It just goes directly out into this right now. If we got a gift for enough, we would be putting in a new parking lot because we really need it right now. Four years of this between that and food drops off, USDA food drops off and big trucks on our parking lot. It's pretty well trashed it. God bless you. Thank you so much. Morning. Have a great day. Um, Sunday the 28th is my final Sunday before retirement, July 28th. If you would like to come out, you're invited. We're going to have a party. It would be great to have you here with us. You can hang out in the courtyard. However, I'm guessing it might be warm out here, so we'll be inside as well. I think Debbie's got a taco cart coming or something like that. It will be fun to be together. It would be great to see you. See ya. May God richly bless you and yours in the days to come. Thank you for your support these past 36 years. And for those of you who support the food, ministry thank you for your support these past four years i'm going to see him pray today thanks for supporting see him pray and jack for jesus and everything else that we do may god richly bless you and yours